Hey guys, coming back with another video. This one is on planting pumpkins, zucchini, squash, things like that. If you've got clay soil, if you're a beginning gardener, um, please watch this video. The instructions you get on a package of seeds or if you buy a plant will tell you to, to make a hill and if it's seeds, they'll tell you to put, you know, three or four seeds, whatever, and then you pick the best ones. Um, the problem with doing that with clay soil is, when I, I've tried that, and what basically it is, is it's a, a concrete mound. Because once you till it all up, and that clay soil gets on top, it just hardens up. And so there for a while, what I was doing was, I was actually trying to flatten it out on top, and recess it okay that's that's a lot you know to try and get and it still would harden up and then you, you it was a hard time watering it was the problem okay pumpkins squash things like that they need a lot of water so here's what I came up with um, I got the camera kind of pointed down towards the hole I started digging this this morning and uh, what I did was is I tilled this area right here down maybe three or four inches where all this good dirt is over here and so what i'm going to do is i'm going to dig this clay out and get rid of it okay um so let me show you we'll get right into it we're going to go through this step by step um so i'm just going to take you can see that rough clay soil I'm just going to take that out of there. And tree roots, my God, I have fought the tree roots. So, this hasn't been tilled in a few years, and the tree roots were bad. So, now you've got all this clay down here. So, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to break it up. And that's going to give me a little extra where them roots can go down. Okay, so, then what I'm gonna do, I've got a couple of soil amendments. This is rabbit manure. I'm gonna pour that in the bottom of that hole. I'm just gonna spread it around. And then I've got compost. And so what I'm basically doing is, is making my hill down in the ground. So I can take the good dirt and put it on top. And hopefully that rain and stuff will get in there. And then, again, we're talking uh, like the tomatoes and all that. The roots are going to go down. Hopefully they're going to hit this compost and then <clears throat> probably July, June, late June maybe, they're going to hit that, uh, that rabbit manure and that's just going to be like a burst, you know, of, of food for these plants. And so when it starts getting really hot and dry, they'll be able to take off. They'll be nice, good, strong roots. So, We'll just put a little bit of layer of that on there. Just kind of spread it around. And then a little bit of layer of dirt. Now what I'm planting today is a Connecticut field pumpkin. Okay, that's an heirloom uh, variety. <clears throat> now I've planted squash and zucchini right beside it, okay? So I'll have to take one of my seeds and plant it somewhere else because they'll cross pollinate. Now that is not going to affect anything this year, but if I tried saving seeds out of any of these, um, it, it, it wouldn't be true to the parent, uh, so to speak. So um, I'll have to do something different. Now, if you see any of these guys, Make sure you put them back in the hole from your dirt. 
uh, those right there are going to help your soil as much as anything. So this was a success. I, I grew this one from a seed. Um, it grew nice and big. So I'm going to take it out. Nice good roots. I'm going to put him right over here. And so I'm just going to take this dirt and I'm going to pack around it. And I want to bury him pretty good. Uh, I'm going to let him drop. And now I'm going to fill this hole completely in because I'm going to plant a seed right beside this one okay so that way um <clears throat> they'll mature a little bit different maybe i'll get a better you know a longer growing season a longer crop uh you know like i say i'm gonna put two in i'm not gonna put three in here and then pick one out i'm the kind of guy that if if i'm gonna grow something if it comes up, I ain't pulling it out, you know. That's just how it is. Oh, there's another worm. Ah, good. So, and I do try to keep all this grass and stuff out of there best I can. Now, we had a lot of rain here the last couple of days. This dirt's a little bit, just a little bit muddy. But, you know, you just deal with it. All right, get rid of some of this. Another worm. A lot of good worms in here. Okay, so what I'll do, and it says right here, uh, how deep does it say to plant? I don't know if it does. Well, we're going to put it down about an inch deep. And if I read it on there, um, I'll put that in the comments. And if you guys, if you if you have a different way of doing this, let me know. Um, if you've had success in clay soil doing it a different way, leave it in the comments and let me know. So I'm just going to put that in there and just cover it up real light. I'm not going to firm it down a whole lot. So that's pretty much it. Um, you know, we got our soil amendments in there and everything. Uh, I'll wait a day or so, and then I'll water this. Like I say, pumpkins, zucchini, things like that, they need a lot of water. So that's the video. That's how I've kind of helped solve the uh, heavy clay problem. So that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. I do appreciate it. And uh, feel free to, if you got anything, leave it in the comments. All right. Hey. You guys have a good evening. I'll talk to you later.